Annyeol Sale, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be reviewing 38 Task Force. This is a 16 episode action thriller drama that just finished airing. It stars Ma Dong Sook and So In Guk and this drama is about a team of both criminals and government officials who team up in order to con corrupt people into paying their taxes and it's really awesome. Like this drama really surprised me. I heard about it a couple months ago before it started airing and I'm like okay I gotta watch it because So In Guk is in it, and if you don't know, Sun Guk is like one of my favorites. Then I'm like, okay, it's about taxes? Okay. I didn't know how I felt about the plot. It didn't sound super intriguing to me. So of course I ended up watching it because I figured I might as well give Seon Guk a shot and it was fantastic. Now this show is really interesting because it is about con artists and we have a couple of mini plot arcs with several small cons. It's not like there's a con of the week. It's more like the cons go over a span of few episodes and then there's another one and there's like three big ones. So this drama had a lot of good things going for it. First of all, I think you need to know there was no romance. This is one of those dramas that is just purely focused on the plot and there's no romantic interactions, there's nothing like this. It also has a quite a dull color palette which is something I thought was very fitting for the show but it was different from what I've normally seen because K-dramas often have very bright colors in them and are kind of flashy. So this one felt really realistic in a sense that nothing was over the top. It was just quite normal. So I will say when I first started watching this show it was a little boring. The first two episodes were rather slow. They were putting down a lot of information that was necessary to continue the show. Things you needed to know, but it wasn't super interesting stuff. So for the first two episodes, So and Guk was definitely the most interesting character because he is a young con artist who has just gotten out of prison and he is conning our other main character, played by Ma Dong Sook. It's just a little slow at the beginning, so fair warning if you decide to watch this, be sure to push through those first two or three episodes and then things will really start moving faster, I promise. Now the actual cons themselves were super cool because they couldn't all be the same. The cons would progressively get harder as the show went on and the first con seemed like it was tough enough and then you get to the second one and it's like okay how are they gonna top the first con? The writers had to keep the cons interesting by switching things up, adding in betrayals or failures because that's what makes a great story. You have to have failures before the heroes succeed and that was really cool. I love the characters on that note. We had a whole team of con artists and then we had our one government official played by Ma Dong Sook. So he was kind of the do-good guy that was new to the world of Connie and the rest were all like criminals. So the dynamic within the team was really interesting because you really felt as if they did trust each other. They really needed to trust each other and rely on each other in order for these cons to work out. But at the same time you weren't sure if you could trust everyone. You really wanted to but you weren't sure. It, it was kind of going back and forth where you're like, do I trust this person? Do I not trust this person? What is going on? So I really liked that because it was an interesting dynamic between all the characters because among our main characters there was no one character that you can point out and say, wow, they're just all bad. They're definitely not trustworthy. No, they all had their ups and downs, which made it really interesting and unpredictable, I would say. As for the acting, of course, I love Seon Guk. He's an amazing actor because he's very charismatic on screen and he can fit into just about any role. As a con artist, he does play a lot of different roles. He goes into disguise and he personally interacts with whoever he's conning. So we got to see a lot of that from him. I love it. He's great and he's super attractive. So what's not to love? As for Ma Dong Sook, I know he was in Bad Guys, but I have not seen bad guys so I haven't seen him in anything and I haven't seen a male lead like him in a drama before because usually they're very attractive young men and Ma Dong Sook is older and he's maybe not so attractive I mean I liked him but he was very different and he was kind of a pushover at the beginning of the show he had some great character development but also he, it was just interesting because I've never seen a male lead like that in a show and I actually really liked him because one character development and two because he just added a different dynamic dynamic to the team. Uh, you know, he was the only good guy on a team of con artists. The writing for this show was really clever. This is definitely a show where you need to be paying attention to what's being said. There's going to be a lot of scenes between the good guys interacting, there's gonna be a lot of scenes showing what the bad guys are doing, there's gonna be a lot of scenes with 
both good and bad guys interacting. And a lot of the dialogue is important because it's not just a show where you can watch it and you know what's going on, even if you're not reading all the dialogue. Things can happen in this show where if you don't pay attention for a minute, you're like, what's, what's going on? Because these scams that the team is pulling off are pretty darn complicated and there's so many different things coming into play that it's it's definitely one where you need to pay attention but it's really fun to watch because it's interesting and personally I love shows about corruption because they have a sense of realism to them. Corruption's everywhere. It's in the real world and just seeing these heroes take down these corrupt people is just so fun because like it's super cool and it's an anti-hero show where people who are normally considered the bad guys are actually the good guys and that's a really cool perspective. I love anti-heroes. They're lots of fun and they're kind of in the gray area between bad and good. I love that kind of concept. It's lots of fun. And of course I love conning. I like, I don't con people, but I love watching conning dramas and movies. I've enjoyed the con artists that had Kim Woo been in it. And then The Thieves was pretty good too. So I think if you've watched either of those and have enjoyed them, I think you'd like this. While this show was not lighthearted, it did have some funny scenes in it. There were a couple scenes where I was just laughing because they were hilarious. There was a nice dynamic w between the characters where there could be funny moments but the overall tone of the show was fairly serious and it kind of got darker as the show went on because things were getting more complicated. Oh, and the soundtrack for the show was lots of fun too. I don't think there were a lot of instrumental pieces. There was the main theme, which was lots of fun. It just fit the show really well and it's definitely something that comes to mind when I think of the show. The soundtrack definitely comes to mind. So the soundtrack was great. The acting was great. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed all of the actors. We had like six main characters and that was lots of fun. And of course, So and Guck was wonderful and he looks fabulous in a suit and there are lots of scenes in this show where he wears a suit. So, you know, sign me up. So overall, 38 Task Force was a really solid drama. I never thought I would get excited at the thought of taxes, but this show changed that. So I would definitely recommend this show. Again, it's a bit slow at times, but as long as you push through those slow moments, it's okay because it's going to pick up and it's lots of fun to watch. It was a nice change of pace from all of the romance I've been watching in dramas because many dramas are romance centered and this one had no romance, which is really cool. So overall 38 Task Force was really enjoyable. I would definitely recommend watching it, especially if you like So and Guk. I mean, what other reason do you need? If you've watched 38 Task Force, be sure to let me know down in the comments so we can discuss or give me drama recommendations so I know what to watch next. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and Hannah and I will see you soon. Annyeong!